Uh, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Vintage Inspirations. I went to the Goodwill on Northside Drive in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, this is an end cap. It looks like the blue end cap. That basket was so cute. Never really saw that type of design. Uh, it was so cute, like kind of log cabin style. And you have a picture frame. These were here the last time. Those three objects there. Cute little um, creamer. A vase. A piggy bank. And I believe that's for your uh, pens or pencils. It reminded me of the vintage uh, urns that you put flowers in. This is a cute little basket. Decorative cup. I thought this was vintage, but once I touched it, you can tell right away that it's not. And it says 509, made in China. And this is like a brown and gold section, or end cap rather. And finials. Planter or urn. A glass vase. A beautiful wooden basket. With a little bunny. That was to die for. <laughs> Had I not done my East Escape, that would have been perfect. A trinket dish, birds of paradise. A cute uh, purse. Well, you know, you know, I was interested because I saw that leopard pattern on the inside. Had that leopard pattern been on the outside. I would have purchased it because it was vintage. But I think it has some uh, that's imitation crocodile and it was done horribly. I just couldn't. <laughs> but that was a cute little evening bag. A nice vase. Silver plate. Cute pillow. Those pillows are cute when you have when you collect uh, vintage dolls or antique dolls. You can give them a pillow. I think that was like um, a watering can. An etched glass plate. And that goes in the cart because I could use that for my gemstones. Second time that piece went in the cart, and the second, and I still didn't bring it home. I didn't purchase it. It's just too expensive, but it's a beautiful piece of um glass. And this is the red end cap. So they're starting to bring the Christmas out into the red end cap. They can't help themselves because it's you know makes it look nice. They have candle holders, it's plush, flowers, those are pincettas from Christmas. And 
And this is kind of like the um, vase and, I don't know, candles, trinket dishes section, figurines. And that little windmill, I meant to put that in my cart, I forgot. Cute dancing bunny, it's a candlestick holder. Beautiful crystal vase. A fake plant, or imitation plant. <laughs> this was a beautiful piece, kind of like a hammered tin. That's a picture. That was gorgeous. That would be perfect if you're doing that farm fresh interior design. Nice red crystal vase. Well, it had crystal shimmery on it. A purple vase, a red candle, and I'm sure someone was talking to me at that point. A beautiful duck. Oh, wasn't that gorgeous, those roses? I love those peppermint candles. It was a couple of them throughout the store. A nice vase. A candle holder. A coffee mug. Candle. Another candle. Isn't that Smokey the Bear? <laughs> they had a lot of candle holders. A candle. That duck was gorgeous. It was vintage. I should have uh, grabbed that duck for resale. That's a soap dish, and this is a beautiful little uh, figurine zebra with a plant on the back. Isn't that cute? <laughs> Had that been vintage, yes, it would have went right in the cart. And this one of those porcelain net things. It was cracked again. Every time I see them, they're cracked. That was cute. Guess you can put pot puree in there because the top has those openings. Crystal bowl. Fake fruit. Tall vases. Planters. They have a lot of planters in this section. This is where I normally find my orchid plants. The imitation ones. Camping without beer is just sitting in the woods. <laughs> oh, that's for some people. Isn't that uh, Costa Rica or well, something like that? Oh, I don't know. It's a designer. I put it in the cart. But further inspection, I don't think it was true. Costa, I can't think of the name of that. But these caught my eye because they had the... Um, Thing where you hang them up. Royal, Staffire. 
focus. Okay, there it is. Fine earthenware. It was a set of two. Those would be gorgeous if you had like a sage paint or a sage background and you were decorating with some instruments, some shells, which I left behind because I have so many. This was a nice, beautiful uh, plate. Beautiful scene. You couldn't really, I couldn't make out that what it was saying. Vases. And then I turned that up. That was upside down, so I turned it right side up. Gorgeous. Some um, oil and vinegar food um, decor, decor, vases, uh, 4th of July decor decoration, some more floral, that would be gorgeous in your bathroom, candlestick holder, a vase. That was so beautiful. It had like some wheat in it. I never saw that all clear liquid with wheat. And it's it's not liquid where you can shake it. It's, you know, it's firm. Coaster. Those coasters have such beautiful images. I want to start collecting them, but I would have stacks on top of stacks because I see them all day long. This was a cute bathroom set. I guess you can put your soap and then for your toothbrush holder and your toothpaste. That was cute. Very masculine. Mm-hmm. A chia. Chia. I don't know if everything's in there. That's why I didn't buy it. And then I saw these. Lampshades. And I put a couple of them in my cart because I bought a lamp recently, but I was looking at it and I, I'm like, I have something like that at the house. So I'll see if mine's fit. And if mine's fit, I can just use that. And if I don't like it, at least I know what size I need to get. I see these often. I'm not sure. Do these actually hold your fruit? I guess it's decorative. I guess you could even put real fruit in there. This was beautiful. I believe it was sprayed on wasn't like true blue glass because you can see where the scrapes were yeah and this was a whole mess of a bouquet of fruit just came apart but i mean that's a great find because you can just clean that up and fix it up and put it in a beautiful urn it would be gorgeous if i didn't have stuff like that that would have went straight in the car that is a great vintage find beautiful That doll was there last couple times. Candle holders. Planters. More candle holders and vases. That was nice. I believe that was Dorothy uh, Vintage. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's missing a stomper, though. Those were vintage, too. That barware. That was so cute. Someone painted the uh, glass. They did a great job.
And this was a beautiful etch uh, vintage glass. Like you can put your tulip in there with some water. It, just, it had engraved on it and but those are quite expensive. And I did put it in the cart for resale, but I was thinking, I don't know if I'm going to have an and. And I don't want to be stuck with that because I don't need it. These caught my eyes. Three decorative plates. Not sure who makes them, but I love the gold with the floral pattern in the middle. Those were lovely. And I think this is the metal section. Yes, the metal section. It had some camping um, dinnerware, mugs. They used to keep these mugs in the um with the mugs, no coffee out. But I guess they have so many mugs now. They put the metals. The metal mugs in with the metals. Some baskets. If you take the time and you pull all these things out, you will find something that you need for your kitchen. I never do. Especially now that I'm filming. I can't pull them out with one hand. This was a beautiful prayer piece. It was gorgeous. 23rd palms. The prayer hands. No. Sorry about that. They always have these in this section. These stainless steel, they look like silver. I guess they use the silver molds and then they these are all reproductions. They have stainless steel bowls, cake pans, ice buckets, a lot of thermoses. I've never bought a used thermos or a mug, I mean not a mug, a thermos or like a, a drinking cup from the thrift store. I mean, I, I guess it's okay, but you know, open it up and look inside. If it's really worn, leave it, you know, but a lot of times they're in brand new condition. This was cute. I thought it was vintage and I was going to pop it in the car. It was a 10, but see, you can turn it around and you can see that it is not vintage for $4.09. They did a great job making it look vintage. The front looked dead on. That caught my eye. I wasn't sure what it was. Um, new old stock, so I just put it in the cart, but... It's more like a finio. I thought it was more like where you could hang your plant on it. And I was going to use it for my front porch. But that's not what it was. So I put those back. And of course I was interested in this spoon. Because I do collect them. <laughs> I left that for someone else. Because I have so many. And if you haven't seen that video. Go back and watch it. It was on um, miniature spoons. I have quite the collection. Oh, she was precious. She was a porcelain face. You see her cherry lips, brunette hair. She was gorgeous. I really wanted to buy her, but I just can't. I'm not sure what that is, but I guess it's just decorative. A plastic uh, pitcher. Some planters.
That's so cute. <laughs> they had a lot of these. They were so gorgeous. That restaurant wear. If you had like a um restaurant or you know a hotel or you're renting rooms or something, that would be the mugs to purchase. They're brand new, great condition. I mean, great quality is what I was trying to say. And she was so cute. I put her straight in the cart. Great quality. I think that was their last time. That was so nice. It was another one, too, on the top shelf. So you can actually buy a set for you and your husband and make iced tea or some people like to drink beer. These were be beautiful. I see a lot of companies that decorate their uh, coffee mugs logo with the uh, that beautiful cobalt blue. And they, got, they had lots of shot glasses. I used to collect shot glasses. I used to have a million of them. And one day I just bought them all out and sold them, and they all sold immediately. <laughs> I wasn't able to bring that one back home. I was happy, though, because I never used them. I do not drink, and that's why I sold them, because I never used them. And I was like, somebody can actually collect them or use them. I've been seeing these a lot, and there's a whole collection in this store. Those would be a beautiful pickup. Uh, you wash those up real good, and you having guests come over? Well, that would be gorgeous to serve your drinks in, or your cocktails, or tomato juice, whatever you're serving. And I was trying to see what this was. I really wanted to purchase it, but it looked like something was broke. Yeah. And I would have just used it as decorative and put my gemstones in it. But it was, I, I like things like that. So what I think that was, was an atomizer. But the handle, the pump part was broke. More shot glasses, the whole set of four. Christmas theme was on those. A nice ladle and bowl. And you see, aren't those beautiful? If you have an, um guests come by, go to the thrift store. They have beautiful beverages holders. Beverage holders. They're like brand new. And I believe those were vintage too. It's like a cactus. Yes, yeah, cactus. I believe they those were the vintage ones. Beautiful. A bucket. It's kind of hard to film this aisle. So, um, I just, you know, try and do, I can't pick up each glass and show you, but at least I'm trying to go slow. Thanks to somebody that, uh, Lynn, she made me aware that I was filming fast. I didn't even know. And so you see, I'm trying to slow. Like I said, the more I slow down, the better I'll get at it. Still a little difficult. But I'm working at it. It's a work in process. Work in progress. Or is it process? No, work in progress. <laughs> that was cute. I think that's Alta Gary. Those are cute. I see them all the time. That was gorgeous.
That was nice, but it was peeling off. You see, it was Van Gogh, but it was peeling off. Someone probably put it in the dishwasher. It's probably just a... You know, you can't put everything in the dishwasher. If it doesn't say dishwasher safe, do not put it in your dishwasher. And, like, I eat off of my uh, vintage and antique uh, plates. I never put them in the dishwasher. I always have to wash those by hand. A bucket. Angel. With some beautiful glass plates. And then the man just put this out. I would have put it in the cart immediately. But someone rigged the pieces together. So it's not original. But yes, that's a milk glass base. And that's a beautiful um, shade, lamp shade on top. But the middle, the cord is even original. But that middle piece and that is, and the top and the bottom don't go together. So I left it. <laughs> Isn't that cute? <laughs> I hope everybody watched that movie. I'm not going to say the name because I don't know if we can. I think you can say names in movies, yeah, as long as you're not playing their songs. And what are these called? They have a name. I forget. Because I've never owned one, so I guess that's why I don't know what it's called. It was um, $99.99, $100 dollars. Come on now, Goodwill. If someone donated for donated it to you, and it is cracked, but you can just put a pillow. I guess you'd have to sew a pillow big enough to fit in there to accommodate it, unless you just come across one. But that was beautiful. I like the brown ottomans, and this uh, table right here was stunning. Um, look mid-century. I don't... I believe it was original. It was only $40. I believe it was original. It doesn't look like a reproduction. It has that uh, glass trim going around it, that etch trim. Oh, man, that was beautiful. Oh, that would be so nice if you have children and you're doing Easter. It would be beautiful. That was by Department 56. And you can feel the quality is just so beautiful elegant some plates bowls they have so many dishes dish sets This was a beautiful pattern. It had like a Greek motif in it. Beautiful. I thought it was vintage, but you turn it around, it says Gibson China. Well, I'll be done. <laughs> Some Halloween plates. serving dish that was so cute I like that red piece too that was gorgeous that was a piece of melamine I've seen it before it catches in my eye because it's a crab and that's my sign Cancer the crab. Oh, Melrose is a, a cancer too. <laughs> God bless Melrose and um sunflower. Angels sent from heaven. That was gorgeous. You can use it for trinkets, hair supplies, or nuts. 
beautiful. $7.99. That was gorgeous. Oh, it was um, mid-century. I mean, country, maybe? It, it had a mid-century vibe, but I think it was more so country. This caught my eye. I put it in the cart so I can um, just learn more about it because it didn't have a name. But it looks antique, right? It's a beautiful Christmas pattern, but I couldn't find anything similar. I don't know. It has no name. It may just be a modern piece. Chip and dip bowl. Creamer. Plates. Okay, this is the green end cap. This man had purchased that, and I know he didn't see that one. That's a he could have bought two of them. Or maybe that's the one that he put back. I'm not sure, but hmm. I looked, I didn't see him. Some vases, creamers, candles. That was nice, but it was cheaply made. If that's a infused glass when it's color inside the glass like that it's called infused glass a walrus plush that's nice oh a penguin <laughs> what is that oh is that another walrus a seal that was a seal christmas section Oh, this store have organized everything so much better. Remember these shelves were packed? They're still full, but they're not packed. Like, at least you can pull things out without everything falling. And they cleaned up everywhere. It was just, they threw out a lot of um, items. I was very impressed. This was nice. Had the top to it. I'm assuming a candle came in there. That was so cute. I think that's a hot chocolate cup maker. So much Christmas decoration. Some makeup for Halloween. I did put that in the cart, but I decided to leave it because the original price tag was a dollar. And I'm not putting anything on my face that costs a dollar. No, you might break out. So, I mean, that that would be okay for kids. But, you know, at my age, I got to be careful what I put on my skin. Stocking holders. Halloween decoration, candles, someone made those, that was nice, the garland, that was gorgeous. Christmas cards. That plant's been near forever. Poor plant. 
Maybe I'll look at it thoroughly next time and bring it back. I never actually took my time to look at it. It might be something beautiful just sitting there. You know, I love my miniature. It's like a log cabin style. I didn't bring it home, though. Some paper plates. You always can use paper plates. New in the pack for a dollar, why not? But I didn't purchase them. That's just kind of a waste of money. <laughs> you know, I'm on a budget now. So, I can't be spending like $100 every time I shop. No, 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 no. Oh, this was so cute. I'm going to show you his whole little outfit. <laughs> He is so Western. That is cute. I like his suede vest, his suede hat, that is darling. Darling. A beautiful reef. Bags of Christmas. Oh, the scarecrow's still there. Oh. <laughs> I know he was happy to see me. He wish I would take him. He's just sitting there all lonely. He's not even, oh, I can't use no scarecrow. I just can't. I still have some of those. Oh, this was a beautiful piece. Someone turned a coconut shell into a whole uh, chime. Oh, that's beautiful. I don't even know why I didn't purchase it. I could have hung that on the porch. That would have been beautiful. Man, I'll be I'll be missing out. I really be I didn't think to to purchase it, but I don't have a wind chime. In fact, I, I think so, people steal mines because I had some beautiful ones. They're not there anymore on the porch. People stole them. I thought that was original, but it's a um, modern piece. It's cute. A bottle opener, and then that little container catches the cap. That's so too cute. That'd be a nice man cave piece. I think those are for your curtains, your tie back. But there's only one of each. I looked. I didn't see a match because I would have purchased it. I could have used either one because you can even paint them. I did like the silver one was more uh, expensive. I can't use one. A nice sign. And this is the wood section. They have mostly signs, uh, like miniature furniture, wooden bowls, jewelry boxes, hangers, wooden hangers. And this sign was so cute. So I'm letting you read it. And this was beautiful. I've never seen this before. It's made by, I'm going to show it. Um, I forgot the maker already, but I've never seen that. It's by Kathy. It's very beautiful. Sounds like farm fresh design a little bit, I guess. And this was a nice oil painting. I pray that finds a good home. It's a beautiful piece. I love that frame.
and then you have the basket and they always have flowers and wreaths These were gorgeous. They were too expensive, so I didn't put, but I would have put those in a cart immediately because I can always decorate with that. It's a neutral color. They were beautiful, like some type of wheat kind of wannabe, you know. Those were gorgeous. You get a nice vase and put those in. Oh. Some greenery. That was too cute. Looks like salad. And you see how clean the shelves are? They normally have so much stuff jam-packed. They cleaned the whole store. It was amazing. I don't understand why they don't decorate the back end cup caps though. I mean, they should utilize the space to make, you know, it enhances the store and beautifies the store. They even sorted the puzzles. You see how nicely neat they are? I didn't look through the puzzles because I don't, I don't need to buy anymore. So I didn't even look through them. I just showed the fronts. Nothing really caught my eye anyway. A beautiful horse. <laughs> that toy had an angry face. And even the uh, toy section, so much cleaner. Oh, it's just amazing how they cleaned everything. That was so adorable. A little elephant. It's like a fabric piece someone made. It's gorgeous. We keep finding Nemo. <laughs> and this was another beautiful teddy bear, but I didn't like that color or print, so which I was so happy, so I was able to leave that behind. <laughs> oh, and then I found this gingerbread cookie. Oh, he was darling with his red cheeks. Nice walrus. It was so soft and silky. Now, this was a beautiful doll. You see those lips? And that outfit? It said Cuba. Oh, man. That was gorgeous. She had red hair. I really wanted to purchase her, but I don't have... There's no way I could sit her. <laughs> oh, white sheet. If you have small kids, please buy them some plush. It just brings so much joy. And then this is the office supply catch-all section, which is so hard to go through, but um, it wasn't stocked like it normally be. And I always look for soaps, like household uh, bathroom products in this section. They always have soaps hidden underneath or sometimes face cream. Or remember like before I bought that mouthwash? You know, as long as it's brand new, sealed in the pack.
And after I filmed, I went back through this whole section digging. I didn't find anything, no. I found a few things. It's just, you know, nothing I wanted to purchase. They always have quite the collection of notebooks. And they always have pieces of like weave or wigs or ponytail items in this section too. <laughs> yeah. Well, this store was pretty much empty the whole time I was there. That was gorgeous to organize your kids' toys or office supplies. It was in brand new condition. That was a beautiful leather purse. I hate that I didn't bring it home. I believe it was a fetish design. It had turquoise stones on it, gemstones. See that sign? That's a fetish design. Uh, it was leather. I left it. <laughs> Sad. And those were cheaply made, so I left those. And I would have bought that, but it wasn't a name brand soap. I look for name brands. But when you... When you go to the thrift store, don't forget to dig in this section. They always have soaps thrown in underneath. Expensive soaps. No more than a dollar and nine cents. I was trying to see what this was. I think it was something that you spray in your hair to set it. I wasn't sure. It was brand new in the box. A lot of coffee mug holders. And then I saw these jewelry trays, which caught my eye. I didn't like the price. And that's why I was looking back after I filmed, because I wanted to see if there was any more. Because I really need those. And I was so happy to find two. They were in brand new condition. No odor, no issues. I wasn't sure what that was. It was new in the pack. And that one was in horrible shape. That's why I didn't purchase that one. And this was beautiful, but it had an odor. I guess someone used it for their dog supplies. That's why you got to be careful what you buy. You know, I guess you could clean it out with Lysol spray, but I don't want to use nothing that animals use. But I, I was going to buy that for my son. You know, you could put his taller trees in it. It was beautiful. It was so uh, good quality. Like it was made. It was, it was really nice. I contemplated on it after I was filming. I just realized I purchased that, but it, I didn't bring it to the hall. Okay, I got to go to the car. There must be another bag. You know what happens? I put the bags on my seat, and when I drive, sometimes the smaller bags, they slide under my seat. <laughs> so I guess I need to just start checking. And I have a big SUV, so it's not like I'm going to have a little car and you can see everything.
Or, you know what? To I don't... I, you know what? I think that it's actually in the bottom of the bag. I just didn't uh, go through the... You know how when you... You know when you bring those Goodwill bags home, you think you emptied it out, but there's something left in there? That's what I think. And I put those in the trash can. I believe it's in the trash. I got to pull it out. Because I didn't see anything left in the car. Here's a jury box. Normally if I can find something like, you know, new... I, I, a new jewelry box, I tend to uh, purchase it because I need those. I have so much jewelry. And this was cute. Some painted shells. And look how they cleaned up their bookshelf. Beautiful. Beautiful. I'm so proud of these employees. Wow. I mean, that is amazing. They got rid of so much old stuff and cleaned everywhere and everything's organized and it's beautiful. Uh, and I hope the customers take care of it too because they go in there and throw those books around. And then this is the suitcase section and the bags. You have some tennis rackets, all type of sport equipment, golf. And I believe this was a hobbyist piece. Had a mid-century vibe for five dollars. A beautiful painted parrot. And these shelves were empty. This is the linen section. This Goodwill has a small linen section. They used to have a lady that used to work in, in linen. She used to spray everything with some good smelling stuff. And she used to keep it stacked no matter what. But, I mean, that was years ago. So, uh, I guess they're not donating enough or people just buying it. Some yarn. Baby supplies. This was cute Christmas pillow for $2.99. It was brand new. Well, brand new condition. I don't know if it was brand new. They didn't even have any pillows. Some sheets, curtains. Some throws, pajamas. You know, that Asian print is catching my eye. So, I thought that was gorgeous. I looked everywhere for the matching pants or top. I couldn't find it. So I do have to work on how do I show clothes going slow. It's kind of difficult because I'm excited and then you can't even really show them. They're so stuck together. They have so many items. So you have the pajama section first and then it turns into dresses. I did put a lot of dresses in the cart, but I didn't um, go far. Once I turned the camera off, I looked in the mirror, matched them up to me, didn't match my skin color, or it was too small, or had a rip. So I had to put every item back. 
And then I just got tired of looking, so I didn't even look because there's a whole nother rack. That was cute, but it was just too small. Yeah, it was a skinny waist. And then we have some more Asian print. It was beautiful. Why did I leave that? Oh, it was too small. Yeah, remember, I didn't check the sizes. Yeah. I just... Um, no, that wasn't too small. I just decided not to buy it because it was kind of like that real polyester fabric and it, that irritates my skin. And then this was beautiful print, Asian print. That blue and white. Oh, it's gorgeous. It was too large. I think it was like a 1X or something like that. Oh, my God. Oh, no. There was another dress. The reason why I left that blue and white dress... Because it was not vintage. It's made by Sheen. And I'm going to show it to you in a minute. Just hold up. Because remember I told you guys. If you're looking for vintage dresses. You can go to Sheen.com on, on, on the internet. They made so many vintage styles over. So if that blue and white uh, dress was vintage. I would have purchased it. But I don't. I'm not going to purchase Sheen items. And I have a feeling that they're going to be quite, um, what I'm trying to say, they're going to be quite pricey at some point, those Sheen vintage items. Oh, yes, people are going to be collecting them. And I, it's... I do apologize, but I can't show you the dress because you can't get so many. It's too stuck together. I can't like pull them. Like even when you push them, they don't move anywhere. <laughs> it's made to come out and in with two hands. And this dress was so cute, but it had a whole lot of lint balls all over it. It was just damaged. Yeah, it was old. It needs to go in the trash can. You can't see it because I didn't notice it until I looked at it. You see that rack? It goes all the way to the opposite side of the store. <laughs> oh, you see how the bottom is made? Yeah, that's why I left it. I don't like dresses like that. Where they're short in front, long in the back. And that material, that ain't my style. It's like spandex material. But I do love those zigzags. In fact, I have a few. What year did that zigzag come out? I think that's from the 60s. Oh, it's definitely mid-century. Hello, Molly. Size six. That was a cute dress.
just caught my eye, but it was cheaply made. So when, once I looked at it, I just hung it right back up. But it caught my eye. It reminded me of some uh, clothes that they used to sell in the village in New York. I'm sure everybody heard of that. In, in Manhattan, New York, there's a place called The Village. They have some beautiful boutiques. I used to shop there like crazy growing up in New York. And they were so expensive. Like one item was like $200. So if you were wearing clothes from there, you were sharp. <laughs> they had like punk rock items and vintage. It was, oh, I loved it. So here's the dress, and I'm going to show you, and even though it's so gorgeous, but it's by Sheen, and you get tricked. See, Sheen makes vintage clothes. That is definitely vintage Asian inspired. It's just, oh, beautiful. That blue and white. And then here's the picture frame section. It was extremely boring today. Nothing. I think I showed a few cute items. Now, this was a um, great find. This was beautiful. Beautiful. And I'm only touching it because it has glass on it. Someone made it in, I think, 2016. A unicorn. That was gorgeous. And those were nice. They were in vintage frames. But I think that was it for that section. And then right behind that section, they had these beautiful, <laughs> aren't those Mexican hats? And I'm going to give you a fashion show. I just had to. How could you resist? <laughs> How could you resist? <laughs> I had to do it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I really wanted to buy one or two. But where would I put them? And then they even had some miniature ones. Oh my, that would be amazing. If you're having like a barbecue and you're having guests come over. You could have some for the pets. The little ones you could use for the pets. Or for smaller children, like, put a pin and stick it in the side of their head or on their shirt or on their clothes. That would just be so cute. And then the adults could wear the larger ones. And that black kettle would be gorgeous if it was real. It was plastic. This was beautiful. Okay, so now we're at the Salvation Army on Marietta Street in Atlanta, Georgia. This piece, oh, I was in love with it. $100. I have nowhere to put it. That wicker vintage rocking chair double-sided. Oh, man, is the ladder back style? That was incredible. Oh, oh, it stopped me from breathing. This was like an Asian reproduction piece. Beautifully made. Wow, if that was a real one, it'd be worth a lot of money. And I'm trying to go as slow as I can. It's hard because you're excited. Beautiful dinette set. I should have grabbed a couple of those mats. They were only a couple bucks. This Salvation Army always have such beautiful furniture. But they, they, their prices are getting higher and higher though. I mean, it was a time you could come in here and they had like $2 on these, these pieces of furniture. Not anymore. That was a nice buffet. You put your silverware in there and your sterling, your barware, and then decorate the top. That was gorgeous. And then these beautiful champagne glasses on top. They were huge. And I saw quite a few more throughout the store.
this was a beautiful piece. Oh. 59 dollars Ooh, gorgeous oval shaped table it had the uh extension pieces and these beautiful table mats it was a whole set i don't know why they just didn't put them all together and sell them for five dollars each one was 2.99 i think it was or 1.99 and then i saw these beautiful table mats remember i just saw some in my last video and they were by the same maker. I forget the name. It's hard to read it, but this time I was able to read it because the lighting was perfect. And I'm trying to read it off, you know, away from the camera. They're gorgeous. See that shell design? Beautiful. I have nowhere to put mats. I have enough mats and I have nowhere to put them. They're on top of my refrigerator and I hate them being there. And I constantly throw them out, you know. I think I'm down to like three sets. This was a beautiful piece. The camera doesn't even show the beauty in the piece. It's gorgeous. And they got a hefty price on it too. 40 bucks. This was a nice oil on uh, canvas painting. A nice still life scene. Some bar stools. That Vogue sign was nice. I couldn't show the whole thing because the TV sitting in front, but that was cute. They have so many lounge chairs and couches, dinette table sets. Uh, they even had some um, agate. That's a vintage piece. You see that um, beautiful frame? I, I had nowhere to put it because that's why I left it sitting right there. This looks so comfortable. This tweed, double-sided, um, like kind of like... Oh, recliner chairs it was asking 79 you see that material beautiful oh. here's another wine glass those are so cute those tall wine glasses this caught my eye but it didn't feel right because I would have bought it for five dollars. It didn't feel right. It was just too lightweight. And I picked those up before, but the bottom looked right. I don't know what was wrong with that piece. I don't know. Uh, maybe it was like a knockoff around the same period, but it should have been heavier. That's cute to have like extra storage in the kitchen. Beautiful glass punch bowl. And this wing chair was gorgeous. It had a beautiful, comfortable upholstery on it. I not necessarily like the design, that geometrical design pattern. Um but nevertheless, it, it had comfort. And this was gorgeous. Oh, look at that beautiful fabric. $80. Come on now. All their chairs were $80. <laughs> That's Victorian pattern, that uh, fabric on that chair. And this was here. I think that's a um, sofa bed. That leather what are those called? Will you lay them down? Futons. Yeah, that's a futon. And these are beautiful. They were here before. I don't know if I filmed them. There's three tables and then a coffee. Three side tables and then that coffee table. But they're reproductions, you can tell. For $200. I guess that's why they're still there. And it's not original. Those are reproductions. This is a beautiful piece, too. 
It's like a bamboo Asian style for eighty dollars. Um, that may be worth every penny. Cause that was beautiful. You see the shellac on that piece? Had to design a name. It was made here in Atlanta. It says Darlington American Furniture, Georgia, and it had the duck work. Everything looked right on this piece. It's not too expensive, but it wasn't cheaply made. And it just had the two pieces. Beautiful. And then at the Salvation Army, they have these vignettes and they color code them. This is the red section. Christmas buckets, Christmas mugs, Christmas cookie containers. Nice vintage platter, that country Christmas thing. Those caught my eyes, but they were so cheap. Look at the bottom. <laughs> I mean, but you know, nevertheless, if you can decorate with them, they sure will look cute. This was different from Valentine. And I keep telling myself, slow down, slow down, because I'm so excited. <laughs> I want to like run through the store. <laughs> I'm like, Slow down. First of all, I'm telling myself, slow down because you don't need anything. So what are you rushing for? <laughs> this was in great shape. I put it in the cart for resale. And then I just decided not to check out with it. So I said, let me take another look. And it was a beautiful angel. Do you see that? Not one scratch, not one chip in the box. Well, I don't know why I didn't purchase it. <laughs> that would have been a great resale piece, but... I can't go over my budget, and I wanted to buy the things that I picked out for me. So, I guess when I start selling, I can't do that anymore. I have to focus on resale. That's that'll be different though. So I need to take advantage now, buy for myself. Because once it's time for resale, I can't buy my for myself anymore. I was trying to see this vintage. It's by Sonoma. But Sonoma is a newer brand, right? But it sure had a vintage feel. The inside didn't look vintage, though. Those were plastic. They fooled me. And that candle was still there. I decided to leave it. <laughs> of course it goes in the cart. I was shocked it was still there. But I decided to leave it again. Mm. If it was up to me, it would have came home with me, but I'm on a budget, so I already, I got to be careful. Those were cute. Here's the blue section. And I was trying to see if this was vintage or a newer piece. I couldn't tell. The bottom screaming Murano, but I don't know. So I left it. Some mugs, some cups, candle holders, potato chip clips, potato chip bag clips. That piece of studio is so gorgeous. I keep wanting to put it in the cart, but it has Washington, D.C. on it. The 
And this little bicycle was so cute. Vintage miniature. I don't know why I left it. I guess I have so many. Christmas platters. Coffee mugs. Planters. Beautiful. Remember her? She's still there. Oh, her gigum dress and her um, smock. She's too gorgeous. Somebody buy her. That's a bell. And this was too cute. If it had a top, I would have purchased it. Top is missing. That was plastic. And we found some Fiesta. Came from Kohl's, yes. Stores like Kohl's and other market marketing stores, they get closeouts or something, but they be selling vintage. This is a golden yellow section. If you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. This was a nice um Madonna mother and child for $2.99. Um, I'm assuming that's vintage with that bottom. That was beautiful. Those are the type of pieces that I struggle to leave behind. Because I went back to it a couple times off camera, but I just can't. And a lot of those little characters are still there. And I still didn't pick it up to see who made them. Duh. Okay, next time. I'm sure there'll still be some there next time. I'll see who made them next time. That was nice. Salt and pepper Christmas shaker. That was there last time. Beautiful basket. Beautiful back stamp. You can actually use that basket as a creamer. Or put your ice, your sugar cubes. This little set caught my eye. Look, Art Deco. It's too, 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 too cute and fancy. That would be so cute to buy for your uh, daughter for her, like, tea, tea set party. You know, a little child. I couldn't tell if what was going on with it. Was it new or I think it was vintage. And this is the brown section. Salt and pepper shakers. Oh, my goodness. I don't even know how I left those. Those were beautiful mid-century. Oh, my goodness. Oh. I was going to purchase two, and then I was like, Tanya, don't, don't. I don't have any in that chocolate brown. I don't. <laughs> we always seem to find that drip glaze no matter where we go. Now, this was... Sad because those coasters go in that box, but they priced it separately. So I hope the person that picks that up noticed that those coasters go in there. And if they left one out, <laughs> you had to buy three pieces. If that was real, that would have went straight in the car. I used to have a lot of those. Um, I sold them all or traded them. I was trying to show you that beautiful glass vase in the back, but I couldn't move to get to it. Too, shelf was too crowded. 
pink section. Easter and then some more fiesta wear I stay away from those you can have fiesta wear in every room if you keep picking them up because I used to but I sold them all I used to pick them up every time I see them this was beautifully made this purple candle holder I sh actually should have purchased it There's a tissue box, a flower basket, a candle holder. I think something round goes in, in there, though. You have the pieces going around it. It's a nice decorative piece. And I realize I missed that, so I wanted to see who made it. It's by Flair. Whole little set that is darling. And this is that catch all shelf to the right of the store. They didn't have anything interesting. A while when they first started these shelves back here, they used to have some beautiful items. Not anymore. Just kind of catch all items, I guess. But I'm glad they made this section because it's you know, people draw to it. It's always crowded over here. In fact, I wanted to go to it, but I had to wait to clear it up. And this store wasn't that crowded either. It, this was a Friday, and the stores are normally packed. I'm not sure what's going on. And that was a miniature. It was so cute. Elvis Presley, Graceland. But I don't need any more guitars. I have about six already. Miniature guitars. And it was cheaply made. I believe that was a Christmas ornament. Oh, then I saw this beauty. <laughs> I don't know. Why am I drawn to animal print? Like, well, I hope I'm not the only one. Oh, that was gorgeous. Scottish Christmas bow. That was beautiful. That was a candle. In the shape of a cross. That was a pencil. Then they have this baggy wall. And then the pants caught my eye. I was about to leave. I stopped filming because I wanted to see what was in those boxes right there. It says candles. Christmas candles. I thought it was Christmas candles, but it was a Christmas candle holder. And it was so cheaply made. I didn't even bother filming it. Those boxes right there. That was vintage. Those were cute. And then look at the Pez. <laughs> Santa Pez. With candy for $1.99 at the thrift store. <laughs> no, I did not purchase one. <laughs> 
I used to have a lot of uh, pens. I sold them. I might have one or two somewhere around. I think my haul's coming up soon. So, everybody have a wonderful day. And please subscribe, like, comment, and share. Um, I see a couple of um, men are starting to comment. I'm so grateful, guys. Keep it up, please. It means the world to me. You just don't know. If you don't comment or like, my videos won't travel. And I'll just be at a standstill forever. You know, I was thinking even if I get monetized and I'm getting paid, you know, at some point I could pay people to um drive me to beautiful antique shops to film because I can't I can't drive to them now. They're too far away. Can't do that driving myself. But if I have the cash, I can just take an Uber or pay a friend. Those were napkin holders. A little tea catcher for your tea bag. He's missing his head. Poor animal. You can still turn it into a little pl uh, planter. You can put, even put a real plant in there. Some beautiful angels. One was, the one on the left was a Christmas uh, tree topper. This was a beautiful piece by Otta Gary. A uh, spoon rest. And I may not add the haul on here. It just it depends if this um app is going to allow me to um upload because it's it's kind of long. If if I don't have enough footage to upload, then I'll put the haul in another video. And it's a very small, boring haul. Like I said, I'm on a budget. <laughs> <laughs> it's very boring. I would have liked to have... Oh, that was so cute. A little bird's nest on a, a trinket box. That was so cute. I don't know why I didn't put that in the cart. That was so cute. Oh, no. You have some beautiful brass pieces. That was nice. You can put a jar in there or a glass vase or even a candle. I never saw this before. I couldn't find a mark. I'm sure if you clean it up, but I didn't want to take a chance. It had Asian print. I never saw Asian print like that in a, a silver plate, you know, bowl like that. That was very uh, interesting. Normally, if I find something like that, I'll just go ahead and purchase it, clean it, and find, look for a mark. But I didn't want to take a risk because I don't need it. And that's kind of big for shipping. That was too cute. They're holding up her her bridal, her wedding dress. <laughs> oh, that's right. I got to show those beautiful cheers and then the video will end. I wanted to buy that be because I was on my budget. I ha I couldn't.
That was so cute. Wonder what happened to those two ladies that their picture got lost. This was a beautiful set. I've never seen nothing like this. I couldn't, it's hard to show it because it's glass, but it was a tall glass vase, a candlestick holder, and then two beautiful angels on left and right side. That was beautiful. That was a child's cup. This was a nice find. If you buy something like that, make sure you open it up and check the condition of the inside. And this was a beautiful piece. Oh my goodness. See those beautiful colors? I guess it's a hobbyist piece, but I'm not 100% sure. It was gorgeous. Dave, come get your cup. I can't wait till I find a cup that says Tanya, but 9 out of 10, I won't purchase it. <laughs> Unless it's like vintage and beautiful. I don't know why somebody stuck a doorknob on there. <laughs> I don't have a clue. Maybe they were doing some type of project. This was cute. It had ice cream cones on it made by Kathy. She did a great job. It's beautiful. And those pieces are still there. Oh, I didn't see that candle. See it? It was all wrapped up. That might have been a great find. That Grinch want to be um ray dunn is still there <laughs> some more vintage glasses i think those glasses were there the last time this caught my eye these table mats i was looking for the name i thought it could have been maybe you know a designer and i would have purchased them but i didn't see anything so i left it i don't need any more so i'm glad it wasn't designer it may clearly be designer the time time people cut the tags off or they they come off and this was so heavy. It was beautiful. And then I found some more Fiesta wear. That was gorgeous. That big bottle. Now these big Fiesta wear bowls also good to collect. You could uh, use them for your cereal bowls. I have one pink one. I was thinking about purchasing them, but I was like, mm, uh, I don't eat cereal. And my son could use the pink one. He's, he, it's just him, so he can use that one. Beautiful mug. That was from Pier 1.
It was a nice whale, mom. You know, it's so funny when you go to estate sales, you always hear people saying, oh, these people must have traveled. They have so much stuff from their travels. And I'm saying in my mind, no, they didn't travel. They just went to thrift stores. <laughs> I mean, you just pick stuff up at thrift stores. And <laughs> people always think that these people traveled. Maybe they did, but nine out of ten, they went thrifting. <laughs> just like you thrifted. <laughs> Some gorgeous reefs. Now, this little tree topper was beautiful. Christmas tree topper. Oh, she was gorgeous. I have a couple. So I left her, but she was beautiful. It's like that paper mache. I love it. And Denise caught my eye in the back of the store. They were gorgeous. Someone put cushions, but you see, it's just like the oh my gosh, the raton. Those were beautiful. And they're asking eighty nine dollars. I didn't see another tag, so maybe it was for the whole set because I couldn't find another tag, but. They were beautiful. If I had a deck in the back, I would have purchased those. It had one ottoman. Ottoman is the same, just a different fabric on the cushion. Okay, let's start the haul. Um, I guess we'll do Goodwill first. Look who I bought home. <laughs> Don't ask me why I purchased it. <laughs> and that little reindeer was there too. But when I got to check, I didn't, have, I didn't even notice. The price tag was gone. But like I said, I have to do some sewing. See, it has issues there, here, and I think there's another one. Yeah, and a little split there. So I have to do some sewing. And uh, he costs three oh nine. I guess it's going to be a he. He's got green and blue. He's so cute. Like, I said, if he was there the next time I'll grab him. Um, let's see who made him. The Manhattan toy company from new york okay looks like there's a new sewing right there too so i'm going to sew it first before i wash it i'm gonna put him in the washing machine i think he'll be he'll be okay but he's so cute i'm just gonna wash it and leave it on the couch and whatever child comes they're more than free to take it or um just use it while they're here i'm not attached to it i just felt so sorry for him he's so cute and he's vintage you know and that little reindeer, I wanted him so bad. <laughs> Didn't have a price tag. Manager was taken forever, so I said, ma'am, just forget it. I'll get it next time. I'm sure he'll beat it the next time. And this sweet little girl, little angel, isn't that beautiful with her angel wings? And that was $1.39, and it's by, I think it's Metallic Incorporated. Sometimes these stickers get stuck. Oh, Metallic Incorporated. And I bought this to make, um, you know, those little plastic plants that I collect. I want to use that for that. And then I got two jewelry boxes, which are cute. They were quite expensive, but they stack. And I can, I need some stuff like this. This is not what I wanted, but uh, this will do. And what I liked about it was two, and then they stack. They were priced individually, so expensive. And then I bought this Rachel Zoe jewelry box. I do have a piece of Rachel's old jewelry, so I'm going to just put it in here. Why not? It's like brand new. It was only 69 cents. So, okay, that's that. That was the Goodwill haul. And um, then I went to Salvation Army. And when I was on the line checking out, this lady was two people before me. She had a million clothes. And then I think it was too high and she was putting things back. I did, this grabbed my eye, the, the, the uh, sleeve, that color. I love that color. It caught my eye out the corner. And I said, ma'am, can I see that? You're not going to buy it? She said, no, I'm putting them back. Do you see? I, I couldn't understand why she put it back, but I can understand why she picked it up. Okay, it's Cowboy Western, which I love. And then it's Wrangler. I collect these. I already have like three. That was a great find. It was only $3.99. I can't believe it. Oh my god. And so normally if I get this from Goodwill, it's uh uh eight, seven and change or whatever their price is. That was a great fun. I can't wait to get that wash and weird. <laughs> it's gonna look so cute. I'll I'll take make sure I take a picture. And then I bought this beautiful, I believe that's um um 
I don't know, black, some kind of black bead, and then my nail broke. And some pearls. Are they real? I don't know, but this is definitely vintage. It is gorgeous. I believe it's from the Art Deco era. I love it. And this was kind of high. It was $4.99. I paid up for that. That is beautiful. Uh, in fact, let me put it on my arm and show you. It's gorgeous. And it's in great shape. It's not stretched out. I've seen these from time to time. I get them in grab bags. They're always stretched out or the bees are broken. Do you see how gorgeous that is? That is beautiful. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, what a great find. And then, you know, I love animal print. It was a, a can candle for $2.99. It is too cute. It's by Swartzy Candles. Oh, handmade. Oh, these are handmade in Africa. Wow. That's interesting. Isn't that beautiful? I couldn't leave that behind. And then this beautiful trinket box is an elder wedge, elder weave. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's Australia flower. And I got a little flower like this in the grab bag. And someone commented to me and told me what it is. It's an elder weld flower from Australia. I believe this is the same one. I'm not mistaken. But doesn't that look like sodiolite? Um, I believe this is sodiolite, this base. Yeah. For $2.90. And I love when you people comment because I would have never been drawn to this. But because of that elder... What is that? Is that a, I know it wasn't no B at the end. Adele Webb, Australia. Well, you know what? Actually, this might be the city of Australia. But the flower was similar name. Okay, I'm going to have to Google. I'm going to have to go back to the comment. In fact, I wrote it down on the paper because I didn't want to forget what that flower is. But that flower looks just like that uh, that metal uh, pendant that I had. That's that. I, I think it's it. I really do. And it's called Elder Something. And I guess that's where it got this name from, that city. But that is gorgeous. I, be, I bought it for resale, but I, I'm kind of attached to it. I might keep it. Yeah. Okay, that was it. Just a small haul. But just, you know, things that I cherish. I'm so happy with this shirt. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. Sometimes you see these shirts, they be asking for like 100 bucks. Remember last time when I went to that other um store? What was the name of it? I can't remember. And they had one hanging up on the mannequin. That was some videos, one of my first thrifting videos. They wanted a hundred dollars for this same shirt. Mm. Okay, what well, great treasures! I love going thrifting. Um, so um, if you stay to the end, God bless you, and I'll see you next time.